to another vlog. It's your girl Tatiana Lightbright, also known as your mommy best friend, M3. Now, as you can see, we're on M4. I haven't vlogged in a while, guys. I have been missing in action. Life has taken over for me. It's just been so much going on with work, the kids, and just trying to get the house together. But your girl's back, okay? Your girl is back, and as you can see, we're back with a baby. M4 is on the way. I am 37 weeks pregnant, so he should be getting here any anytime now. I'm ready for him. As you can see, we got all of these boxes in the background. Things have just been getting delivered to the house, delivered to the house, and people just been coming and putting it together. DJ's been doing his best to put it together. I've been driving everybody crazy baby hangers pampered stuff is just everywhere okay stuff is just everywhere literally including myself i'm actually on my way out the door i have a doctor's appointment today as well as i am going to get my hair and makeup done and do a little maternity furrow shoot if y'all are feeling this outfit it's from fashion nova the curve selection i like that it's got this little thing to cover my booty Yes, and it's get, got a little gap to show off the baby bump. I feel like I would have sized down if I wasn't pregnant because it is a tad long. I'm going to try to back up so y'all can see it. I um, paired it with my New Balance. The, I think they're called 530s, but yeah, the New Balance. <sighs> um, My hair is by Hair by King. Her name is Mo. It's just my hair blended in and then she cut it all into layers. I really love it. It's not heavy. It's three bundles added in. You know, it flows right. See? Okay. Yeah, as you can also see, we've added cats. My daughter added cats. Uh, it's just crazy over here, okay? It is a wild life happening here. So now we have a dog, three cats, a turtle, Madison, Mason, Masad, and my lovely stepson, Zayden. And now we have baby M4 on the way. We're still stuck on a name. Yes, at 37 weeks pregnant, we are still stuck on a name. It's not that we're not agreeing to a name. We Some names we're just not liking. Some names aren't really just flowing. And I want it to be an M name because all of the children have M names. And, you know, happy wife, happy life. So it's going to be an M name. And we're just going to figure out what the M name is going to be. So, okay. I'm heading out the door. Um, I have this appointment. Then I'm going to go get the festives done. I'm putting on my lovely coat. This coat is from Zara. I got it in New York when they had their, I guess, winter blowout sale. DJ bought it for me. He actually has one that looks like this too. It looks really nice on him. But it's still a little chilly. It rained last night, so, yeah. The coat doesn't really cover too much. My stomach still sticks out a little bit, but it's okay. I think this will... Hey! So, this is the outfit, guys, that I'm going for today. See y'all when I get my hair done, my makeup done, and after this office appointment. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi, good morning. Picking up good a morning. mobile order for Light Bright. For Light Bright? Yes. We got you. You can come on around. Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah. So I've got a matcha, a venti iced matcha with extra ice and four pumps of vanilla 
and vanilla sweet cream foam on top this has been like my go-to right now it's so good so good okay i just pulled up to my doctor's appointment so i'm gonna let you guys know how Hey y'all, welcome back to another day. I actually put my camera down and forgot all about y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, 37 weeks pregnant with baby M4. I'm about to show y'all what I picked in my baby bag, my hospital bag. I'm about to show y'all what I put on my cart. I got two different cards, one card to go downstairs, one card to go upstairs. Um, yeah, I'm going to just show y'all all of that real quick. All right, y'all. 37 weeks. And at this point, I'm over it. This is how big I am. Everybody said I dropped. I don't really know what that means, but here's the stomach. So I'm about to show y'all what I picked in the baby bag for the hospital. I guess it's time. So I'm going to show y'all. I just used the same mommy bag that I did last time with my son that I had in 2020. Nothing major. It didn't get like dirty or nothing. Well, it got a little dirty, but just wipe it off. It's not that deep. Um, but this is what I packed in there. I packed my laptop and the charger because I'm not trying to get bored, you know. Um, a comb. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste. I picked. I got these cute little pajamas from um Target. It got a little matching shirt to go with it. Blue because of course I'm having a boy. And then I got these little blue pajamas. Got these little blue silk pajamas. These are also from Target. I thought it was like real easy, simple to just, you know, something to lounge around in. I got this little um mommy and me little set for me and the baby. So this is just like a little striped robe. And it come with the little footies to go with it. Um, I picked. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. And this little thing. I got the Freedom Mom kit. So it came with this. A little warm water, you know, y'all know. I got the Freedom Mom wipes. I got these little disposable panties. A bar of Dove soap. Some tucks. Yes, the medicated cooling pads. And I got some just like, you know, regular pads. To go here, you go to pack of toothbrushes, y'all. Um, and then his stuff is in here. He's got like his deodorant, he's got pajamas, he's got you know, extra outfits. What's this? Um, what else? 
I have to put in here like the 10 foot charger or the extension cord. One or the other. I don't know which one I'm going to pick as of right now. And then of course I'm going to pick my camera in there. And then in the baby's bed. Because I picked his stuff separately than our stuff. Because it's two of us to put. It's too much stuff to put in this bag. So in his bag. I'm thinking of this is what I want to bring him home in. It's like a nice little. Is this wool? I don't know. Wool little outfit. Just tan. Little beige situation here. Um, and then this is his little swaddle to match my to match my robe. And his came with a little hat and the little matchy socks. I also picked him these little pants, little pajama set with the matching hat and um this little shirt to go with it. That's what I picked in his. And then like just for my everyday baby bag, I got this little bag right here. It kind of match and go with the theme of my stroller. This is for like his little pacifier. Um, I put in here just some little onesies to take, um, to take, put in there like some extra ones. This little tan onesie. These little Advent bottles. Some Honest Wipes. Um... These go in my bra, like the pads for the milk. I have my breast pump, my cordless breast pump in here. I have my milk bags in here. What else? I have some pampers in here. I left some space in the baby bag because everybody know when you go to the hospital, you got to take their pampers too. So, yeah, I, I left some space in there for that in the um, hospital bag. Here goes some little burp cloths. Um, this got a lot of space in it, y'all. It's got two pockets on the side. Oh, my phone fell. Sorry. It's got two pockets. Two pockets on the side. I got my little hand sanitizer and gum. Um... Pack of gum, um, hand sanitizer, and I've got my vitamins that I take, which is from Care Of. If you don't know what Care Of is, you just fill it out of everything that you feel as though that you need for your vitamins to use every day. Um, it gives you um, it gives you like a little quote every day. It says your name on it. But it's like customized to you. I also got my, um, I'm getting my placenta encapsulated. So that's going to be included in with my vitamin regimen every day. Um, I also think I'm going to pick my boppy because I breastfeed. And I feel like it was easier for me to put the boppy there and prop him up. So let me get let me get the cart to show y'all the cart. We go one cart. <laughs> Here we go two cart. Okay. So on my carts, y'all, this is my upstairs cart that's gonna go next to the side of the bed. It's got these um, greater than naturally hydration. It's like plant-based electrolytes. My girlfriend used them when she had her daughter and her son. She breastfed also. So I got these. It comes in different flavors. So I put that on the cart. Um, I put bottles of water on the cart. I think DJ been taking the bottles of water because it's only two on here and it was more than that on here before. I've just got some like um, trail mix, some oatmeal cookies, some fruit cups, granola bars, peanut butter um, cookies. I've got some um, nature volley bars on here. 
I've got the liquid IV. Um, more wipes. Baby pampers. And then on the second shelf, I have my breast pump that plugs in. I have the silicone um, milk catchers that just sit inside my bra. I have some baby bottles, the little ones, and I have the bigger ones just in case I, my milk flow is a little bit heavier. I could just pour it in a bigger one. I also have the pads that go inside my bra as well. Um, on the bottom show, bear with me all because bending down is crazy. On the bottom shelf, I have um, the swaddles, um, a couple little outfits for the baby just in case they're in the middle of the night I need to change him. Like a new pajama set, a new onesie, a new, like, new pair of socks. I have on there um, the underwear again for myself on this card this is the card that goes upstairs now this is the card that's going to go downstairs in the living room if we're downstairs i don't have to run back upstairs and again i have another pump this one strictly stays downstairs this is my pump that i had bought last time when i was pregnant with my son and then on this card i also have the silicone milk catchers to go in your bra just to catch the milk when you know you're not breastfeeding or anything also some wipes, um, more pampers. Basically the same thing that's on this cart is on that cart. Wipes, water, hydration. My vitamins is actually on that cart because this cart is downstairs. So my vitamins is on this cart. More outfits, more all of that on this one. The same thing that's on this cart right here. If you want like a better look at it. This is it. Here's a better look at it, guys. This is the cart. Those are the bags for the hospital. Um, What can I say that was different about this pregnancy than all the rest? This pregnancy was so much smoother, y'all. I wasn't as like... What's the word I want to say? This pregnancy, I wasn't as, like, anxious. I wasn't, I didn't have, like, a lot of anxiety. I worked full through. Um, Monday was my last day at work, so I worked pretty much my full, whole, my whole pregnancy. I took off maybe two days out of the week just to give my body and myself some rest. But other than that, I worked my whole pregnancy. Um, I just now started to feel, like, tired and my legs started to hurt. Um, and just like getting out of breath as far as walking up and down the steps at work. I feel like I'm more prepared this time. When I was pregnant with my son in 2020, I think it was because of COVID just had me just overwhelmed. I was just, it was, I was done with that. Then my other two children, I was younger. This time I'm a little bit older. I know all the things that I need and all the things I don't need. I feel like I packed like so much crap when I had my other kids. This time I just packed what I feel as though that I know I'm going to use at this hospital. Um, my cravings was crazy this time. I wanted McDonald's every day and I freaking hate McDonald's. Hate McDonald's but loved it during this pregnancy. When I say I had McDonald's probably twice a day, I had, um, what did I eat from McDonald's? From McDonald's I had a McChicken with sweet and sour sauce. Then I had to get a quarter pounder with extra cheese and sweet and sour sauce, fries, and a Coke. That was every day, and it pissed me off. And I know it's going to make me mad, like, after. Then, like, recently, I'm off of that. Like, maybe when I was 35 weeks pregnant, I was off of that. I didn't like it anymore. I wanted, um, I started this crave, like, spicy foods. I wanted buffalo wings, buffalo chicken cheese steaks, buffalo pizza, all of that. Uh, I don't know if it was like the blue cheese or the spice. I actually just had some buffalo wings and it made me mad because they were nasty. They were just hot. 
no like flavor or nothing and i had text a couple of my friends asking where did they get their buffalo wings and stuff from because i wanted some and it was horrible um as far as like the house we was really prepared with the house this dresser we just put in here this dresser pissed me off. I bought this dresser, y'all, from Walmart. It wasn't that expensive. I think like 200 or something dollars. We actually have two of them, one on that side and one on this side. But we hired somebody to come and put the dressers together. You know the little task grabbing people? We hired them to come put this dresser together. And the man showed up today, y'all, and the boxes were still downstairs because... I'm pregnant. Who, who? I'm not taking them boxes upstairs. And I feel as though, like, if I paid somebody to do it, I really thought that he was going to do it. But when the man came, he was like, um, my knees is bad and I can't take them boxes upstairs and I can't take these, um, and I can't put it together. Like, I can't take it and put it together and then put it upstairs either. I was looking at him like, what, sir? What are we talking about? Um, so he wound up, y'all, sitting on my couch. Sitting on my couch and putting this dresser together downstairs. And then DJ wound up coming home and bringing the dresser upstairs. That pissed me off. Like, that really pissed me off. Um, the room is chaotic. Because we just got boxes and boxes and boxes. Delivery, Amazon, FedEx every day. Like, no lie. Every day it was a new box. Every day it was a new package. Look, we just got this today. And this pissed me off because now I got to go back and take this back. Because that has the tag things, the alarm still on it. Um, My co-worker purchase this for me which is a side bed to go next to our bed it like connects to the bed since i breastfeed i could just roll him over breastfeed and put him back in there but it also like lifts up and you can roll it around the house as well but i won't have to do that because my sister actually got us a crib so the crib is going to go in his room and then this is going to stay in our room. What else? So all we have to do now is put this little bed together and put his swing together. And I think we're pretty much set. I actually need to clean out my car because my car is horrible. I was going to take out these pieces that I got in my hair. But at this point, I'm over it. I was going to get like braids because everybody gets braids when they have a baby. But I'm not a braid girl. I really hate braids. I don't like my scalp exposed like that. It hurts. So I think I'm going to just go with the flow of what I normally do and what I have. Like I'm not going to make this bigger than what it already is. So I think I'm going to just leave my hair in. Honestly, I'm going to just put some rollers in. <laughs> I'm going to put some rollers in and just leave my hair alone during labor. Um, I went to the doctors yesterday and they told me that based on my size and his weight, they would really like me to get him out of here in like two to three days. My son, I had at 37 weeks and two days and my son was like eight pounds. And he had wound up um, dislocating his shoulder when he was coming out. And I really think the hospital is trying to prevent any of that based off of history. So they want me to have this baby within two to three days. Child, I've been in here trying to do squats. I've been trying to walk up and down them steps. I'm, I'm just over this at this point. Like, I really want him to just come when he comes, when he's ready. But they're talking about trying to induce me. Be based off of like the baby size everybody keeps saying like i'm so big to be 37 weeks but i feel like this is my normal size with carrying i don't know um i'm just ready to get the show on the road so we can see little baby m4 the kids are excited to see him 
I don't know. I'm not really too nervous as far as bringing him around the kids or be, like starting over with a newborn child. I'm more nervous of being in that hospital with them people coming in all night. You can't sleep. Like I enjoyed my sleep and my pregnancy this time. I had my little pregnancy pillow and that DJ didn't like it, but I loved it. My little pillow, he hated it. Little do he know that the pillow is staying even with the baby being here. Um, that's the only thing I'm really nervous about. Like, I have never been induced, so they're talking inducing. I don't really know what that comes with. I don't really know what that means. That's the only thing I think I'm really nervous about, not going, like, natural how I normally go. Like, I normally, my water normally breaks. I, you know, I wait a little bit at the house. I get my kids situated, and then I go to the hospital and have the new baby. So... That's the only thing that I'm really nervous about as far as like if I have to get induced or if I have to get a C-section or any of those type things. But other than that, we're really prepared and we're really ready for M4, y'all. So stay tuned. I'm going to give y'all more updates and all of that. We are currently in the hospital. We finally got admitted. Had five centimeters dilated. She had to prick me like six times because she couldn't, I guess, find a vein. So like three on this side and three on my other arm. Honestly pissed me off. Well, she did like three on this side and one on the other side. And then she said, she was just going to let somebody else come and do it because she couldn't do it. So, yeah, my arm is pretty much numb because of that. So, I'm not too thrilled about that. The contractions are really painful now. I'm feeling them a whole lot more. Um, we're actually waiting for a room because they don't have any, like, labor and delivery rooms. So, we're just in the, like, when you get admitted part of it they did all my blood work they took a urine sample got some water um thank god i ate before i got here because it looks like we're gonna be down here waiting for a room for a little bit hold on i'm having a contraction and they're like maybe three minutes apart they're killing me at this point um i'm not really feeling this bad at all at all i'm not feeling this bad um dj is bored out of his mind over here and his phone is on 19 percent He's dying to go to the car, but I don't want to be in this room by myself. And I feel like I'm saving him a trip because he's going to have to go back out to the car when we get our room to bring all the stuff in. But he's really dying to go to the car because I think he wants to smoke. And it's not happening. Ah. Uh. I was really going natural with no epidural, but the way this is playing out right now, I want the epidural so bad. I really do. I want the epidural so bad. Like if I could get it right now, I would. Oh, I've tried to lean forward. I've tried to lay sideways. Nothing is helping. I'm really uncomfortable. I even tried to cut the lights off to try to see if I could like take a nap. It's not working. I'm not focused. My mind is really just on the, on the contractions. Okay. I feel like my water is about to break, to be honest. Like I'm having like a lot of pressure. Coming down to see the baby. 
this is where he's stationed at and the baby NICU. They took the incubator off of him. He's just in the regular like crib. He's still hooked up to all of his wires. This is his little section. Look at all his hair. Yeah. Oh, look, he's moving. They took his breathing tubes off his nose and his feeding tubes. So I guess he's feeding and eating on his own. I've been just pumping. How are you today? Hi, how are you? This is my second meal of the day. It's a homemade lasagna with some green beans. And I have marked down um, lemonade, but it's just this like crystal pack and they give you a bottle of water. And then I got a um, oatmeal raisin cookie. So I'm gonna try this out and see how I'm liking it. I mean, green beans are just green beans. Of course, they're not going to season it or anything, but it is what it is. Mm. The lasagna clearly has cheese in it, so I'm good about that. It doesn't have any meat. So it's just, I guess, a regular, like, cheese lasagna. Not bad. It's not that bad. Okay, so I'm going to eat this and I'll get back to you guys on the rest of my selection from the hospital. Um, so the way I do it, I usually start, it doesn't even matter, but I like to start from, from the bottom and up. Right. So even though the fingers and stuff like that are moving, but it's also nice to just just do some exercises in there too. Okay. So with the fingers, and then like later on, I'll give you a handout for infant massage. So massage is a nice, um, it's just calming and it's also nice bonding. But in the same time, it's like a nice sensory um, input for the baby. So doing that first and then do the exercise is always nice to do it together. Yep. But for the exercise, we're gonna just start like a little range of motion like this rotation. So if he's actually awake, this would be a nice to like show his fingers. Because sometimes baby um, that has like deficit on one side, especially if they're not moving it, they kind of ignore their, their hands just because they're not using it. So if he's awake, you want to show it to him. Like here's your finger, you could be your finger, and then you could even like do like count. Like, let's count your fingers. One, two. So you could do that too. Make it more play rather than like a uh, exercise. Because mm -hmm. baby loves play. Yeah, so I'm just um, doing a little rotation of each finger like this. And then the next one that you could do, you want to hold it here. Here's a little. Okay. So you want to support just. Oh, okay, Bubba. I'm sorry. Can I do you want this one? Okay. So just be mindful if it's like a little stress. Um, I kind of try to calm them down first before I continue with the with the exercise because I want to make sure that he likes the exercise, you know. You want to oh, there you go. And that's kind of with like everything is following his cues. So if he's showing those stress signs, so like what he was just doing, he's starting to like grunt, seem uncomfortable. So none of this should hurt. So if you're seeing any of that, that's like Robin said, take a break, take a minute, see if you can calm him down. 
sense in that way. He doesn't feel like this is a negative thing. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. So he likes his finger. Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing while Robin's going back to showing you the stretches is giving him that containment. So giving him some positive input just to see if that helps him feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. tolerate any stretches any better. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll keep yep. watching his stress lines. Right. Um, so to do the wrist, you just want to support his arm right here and then do like a little rotation like this. It doesn't have to be long, just a couple, you know. Uh, and then the next one, you want to do the elbow. So again, support here, just up and down. Yep. And then if he's moving it, right, if he's trying to move it, let him move it and then assist him. Okay. Because we want to see that, that he's trying to. Right. And then this is for the shoulder. So you want to support right here, like, like above the elbow. And then on the wrist right here. Just like I'm sleeping, making me exercise. And then we're gonna. Yeah. I like his finger really. And then I'm gonna just bring it up all the way up and then just follow his cues um, like Jenna said like when I'm moving this he's not really showing like any pain so you could go all the way up like this yeah. so if he's awake you can be like let's touch your head there you go. okay and then let's touch your knees so it's more play and the other one just cross across like this you could definitely like touch his other finger like that. And this exercise is really important. Um, if you look at it, like my, my hands, you put his um, elbow in the side and then you turn. So you're just kind of rotating his shoulder like this. So like that and then go to the side. I know I don't have a lot of space in here but all the way down mm -hmm. like this. Yep. So this exercise is really important especially this one because this is the muscles or the, that they don't use all the time so sometimes it gets a little stiff. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. What do you think? Not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to try it?